T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and lift off. So I'm going to disassemble this lock that I took off of a fast food restaurant yesterday. Um, this lock uses this big key and the key is put in actually it was installed that this direction so it was it was put in and then the keys turned to withdraw the bolt turn back to lock it up the problem yesterday was is the key would not go in it would go in about that far and then it would not work on top of that the indicator line that tells you which way the key is supposed to go in was 180 degrees out of time. This is because the local fast food restaurant manager decided he would work on it instead of waiting for us to get there. Took it apart, actually loaded it down with a lightweight oil, kind of like a Singer sewing machine oil, and I found it dripping in the bottom of the safe when I was done. So if you note, even as I've done work on this, it's still full of grease coming out of here. But I ended up having to manipulate the wheels that are inside here until I could get the key to operate properly. We gave it one more opening and replaced it. So never oil these kind of locks. Never lubricate these kind of locks. Let's take it apart and see what kind of damage he did. There's a bunch of black stuff in the bottom here. And that's stuff that has fallen off of the key as it's been inserted into the lock. Looking at this, uh, I'm not seeing in any major indications of any problems except for all the black stuff here and what looks like oil in the bottom of it. It's hard to see in the picture. Let's see if we can... Uh, that black stuff, that's wear is what that is. It should be serviced once in a while. So we'll go ahead and take this apart the rest of the way. See all the black on there. That's all wear. This safe's old enough that it should have been serviced by now. It wasn't. So we take that out. We'll leave the, uh, the bolt in for now. Actually, we can... Yeah, we'll leave that in for now. It has a little indent on the side, keep it from popping out. We take the uh, screwdriver to this. These are not designed to be easily taken apart, but we're going to do it anyhow. If you look, that is mixed with oil. That's just oil on there. And that comes from improper maintenance. Or letting the manager do his thing. Look at all that. Now some of that's wear, but you see the shiny spots, that's oil in there. And that oil will actually make things worse.
this piece allows the key the center in the keyway and it was very loose and if you look down in the hole you can see a lot of wear in there the key lines up with that piece there and if it's everything's correct it actually turns this piece so we'll just go ahead and just dis completely disassemble this that's just filled with filthy parts this is your first wheel as we disassemble it driver wheel next spacer second wheel look at all the oil coming off of it it's like sewing sewing machine oil if you look down in here at this next spacer you'll see that it's covered in oil also might be hard to see in the video see if I can get it this way look at the how clean my white cloth is let's run that around there look at that oil come off of that almost has a, a bluish or greenish tint to it and the next wheel there are four wheels and a driver in here and this one is just soaked look at that This spacer down here, look at all the oil on there. Once again, clean part of the rag. All that oil that came off of there. And the final wheel. If you'll notice, it's got a lot of gunk on it. That's dripping even more than the rest of them. This is the one closest to the outside that's affected the most by somebody squirting oil into it. And the uh, extra stuff from the fast food restaurant. It's even inside the... You can see the dirt that's inside here. That's what happens when you stick a key that's been in your dirty pocket into your clean lock. After you lubricate it, that makes it even worse. That, that's terrible. That's terrible. Never lubricate a safe lock. There's exceptions, but not very many. Never lubricate a safe lock. For those of you unaware, brass is considered a self-lubricating metal. If you add oil or grease to these, they will collect dirt fast, make things bad. So don't do it. All right, there you go. Filthy lock caused by improper maintenance. An impatient manager. Couldn't wait for me to get there to fix it. I did fix it. Did get it open one more time without drilling. Made him a happy camper with a, a new lock.